Hi, Lewis, yeah, I know we're here to buy and sell stuff, but your tattoo just moved from the left to the right side of your face. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here. Today, playing some Dealer's Life, where we're going to have a pawn shop, and we're going to buy people's garbage and or treasures, as the case may be, possibly both, and we'll try and make a profit, and... Possibly hilarity and shenanigans will ensue. We'll see. Mostly we're going to buy junk and try to sell it to other people. So let's play some dealer's life. Well, let's create our pawn broker here. I have five points to assign into competence, charisma, insight, and luck. Obviously, this being a wee hours game, we're not going to put anything at all into competence because ain't nobody tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay. And if I have an actual mechanic that says competence, I, I can't just see me putting any points at all into that. I will put maybe one into charisma, one into insight, one into luck. How about another one into insight? That's probably a good thing for a pawnbroker to have. Oh, go on then. I'll give myself one competence point. That's about my level of skill. Insight seems like it's probably a little more valuable seeing as we're trying to evaluate the worth of goods fair enough okay competence one charisma one insight two luck one i'm pretty good with this let's go see if we can buy some garbage and sell it so week one, day one, and every few days we've got to pay rent on our shop. I do have all of the tutorial tips turned off because they are kind of numerous, but they're also pretty self-explanatory. It's a game you can jump into super easy. It's not complicated gameplay at all. Let's see what's in the news here. There's another shop for rent. We get a shop, but we could rent another shop. How much is this one? This is $3,000 to rent it, and it'll bump up our weekly cost by 60 bucks. Probably don't rent a new shop right now. There's a lucky guy for hire, and he will passively give us luck if we stick him in our store. Apparently, he's a retired leprechaun. That's fine. Um, 400 bucks to hire him and 400 bucks a week. Not right now. I can have over in the corner here one employee in this size shop, so I've got zero out of one employee. Now, brainwasher for hire. George Bezos is looking for a job. Brainwashers can make people forget the last conversation with you. Retry a negotiation or resolve critical situations. He's not even that expensive. No, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. But there's a miracle. Panda at the local zoo just gave birth to a baby. No father showing up. Oh, sounds like something for Panda Moripovich there. The greatest memory a month ago, a new law was signed allowing marriage between humans and ducks. Thank God, I've been advocating for that for years. Our president comment, I've got one of the greatest memories of all time. I don't remember having signed it, but I have a great memory. Okay, let's actually get some work done around here. Open up the shop for the day. Hi. Who, okay, hi to you too. Hello. Uh, oh my goodness, we're all we got all sorts of people here. Sam Gray saw that gem over there. I won't leave it here. What gem? I don't really have a lot of stock. I've got this record over here. What what do you what exactly is it you want to buy? You want to buy a drone produced in 2017. It's a little beat up. I'm not going to lie to you, Sam. I'm not going to lie. It's a little beat up. I'm not actually sure where all the other bits to it are, and I don't know where the charger is, but apparently it's estimated at 196. Am I interested? Of course I am, Sam. Um, now, now you want 174 for it. Okay. I have no idea what I paid for it because I started with it, so I'll take it. Sure. It's a flat profit. That's the easiest profit you can make in this game. Hi, Dwight. You want to buy something, too. What do you want to buy? You want to buy a trophy. Signed by Tannik and Fizz, the devs of this game. It is legendary. Its conditions are very good, and it's estimated at over two grand. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, let's let's totally deal. Um, sure, absolutely. This is pure profit because I didn't pay for this. So yes, you can totally take the trophy away. Hi, who are you? Um, P.S. Gold chains went out in about 1986, sir. This is not a Miami Vice episode. Uh, someone finally did buy this shack. I'm the next door pawn shop owner, the best pawn shop in town. Okay, did you really open a pawn shop here without caring about me working exactly next door? No, I don't care about you at all. I, I don't care about you in the slightest. I, I don't know who you are. Oh, according to my fame meter my fame level is the lowest I've ever seen. Yeah, well, no kidding. I could have told you that. Um, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Fame level is what really matters in your business. Okay. All right. I bet you won't even manage to become a beginner. I bet you're right, but bet accepted. Sure. All right. One day over, and we are killing it right now, thanks to that trophy. 2800 bucks up. Cool. All right. What's going to happen tomorrow? Ah, a restorer for hire. Phil Clooney is looking for a job. Restorers can repair items to their optimal conditions, greatly enhancing their value. 
Now that does seem really, really valuable. Pun fully intended. That seems like something I'd want to get in on. 600 bucks a week. Okay, let's try hiring him. Yes, I hired a new restorer. That maxes out my, my staff. I can't have any more staff right now. And what exactly is in my inventory? P.S. What did I show up with? I've got an old statuette produced in 1888. It's uncommon rarity and bad condition. Okay. A decorated game console produced in 2018. And, and it's estimated at 630. I think you can go buy a new one for less than that, guys. Don't, don't come here for that. Uh, we've got a silver watch, uncommon rarity, bad condition, and indeed we do have a vinyl record produced in 2008, long after vinyl records were relevant. Super, let's open up our shop and see who's going to turn up today. Hi, you have fascinating face facial hair. What is going on with you? You're Jimmy, and you want to sell me a treasure. Okay, what do you got, Jimmy? Nobody's Sky Poster. Oh, yeah, great, great game, great game. Kind of came and went. Kind of got eclipsed by a similar game. Uh, it is rare rarity, but bad condition. Well, I might be able to do something about that with my restorer. Sure, let's deal. You want $3,000 for a poster. You want... Three thousand dollars for a poster. How, how about how about a thousand? How, how about that? Uh, you'd rather say twenty-eight fifty? I'd rather you got the heck out of my shop. But it is rare condition. Maybe I can use my restorer to bump that up. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take you twenty-eight fifty. You. This better be the best thing I've ever bought in my life. Okay. How do I restore that? Uh, restore free burp. Police forced to stop interrogating a suspect after he was continually burping replies. Alternative facts. Border wall inauguration between Astroska and Kolechia drew the largest audience ever, both in person and around the globe. We all knew it. Our president finally admitted to being a Cylon. Yeah, nobody is surprised by that. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to go to my inventory. Uh, you, you look like you were actually coming in with a plate full of vomit, and I'm not sure if that's a monocle or if somebody just drew on your face while you were passed out. Little of column A, little of column B, probably. You won a little treasure. It will surely be worth a lot of money. Okay, a set of chairs. Common rarity, but good condition. Okay, I, I, could, I could see buying these. All right. Um, you want 240. No, how about uh, 220 for those? How about that? How about 235? How, go, how about you get out of my shop? How about you just get out of my shop, all right? Oh God, I'm being robbed. Oh, uh, okay, you, you just slapped a gun on the table. Hi, Theodore, uh, please don't rob me. I don't think I have security cameras up yet. A gun, yes, I think we're all pretty clear about that. We have no idea what its estimate is. Common rarity, but good condition, all right. W what do you think you want for it, 166? How about, um, 160? How about that? I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give you the 166. Please don't kill me. Whatever you accept. Yay! All right, we bought a gun for 160. That That's going to go down well. All right, we're, we're still up a little bit. We're, we're doing okay. Got to pay for that, that uh, restore. Speaking of the restorer, how do, how do you work? How do you do your thing? So if I wanted to... Where did that thing go? Uh... Oh, did I actually... Yeah, okay, the, the Nobody Sky poster. Can we repair that? Yes, there we go. Oh, it'll take five days and a thousand bucks. Phil? Phil? You better be laminating this thing with gold for that. Okay, I better get like a million dollars for this stupid poster. Um, and, and the gun. Uh, I should have probably restored the gun. That was probably a smarter move. Okay, never mind. We'll open up the shop. We're, we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's... Oh, God, who are you? Hey, there's no smoking in here. There's no smoking in my shop. Oh, people. All right, Katie, what do you want? You've got a vase. All right. Very good condition. That's nice. Estimated at 425. What, what do you What do you think you want for this? You want 215. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut that deal. That's fine. Well, that's it for today, is it? All right, well, bye, everyone. Okay. And, and who's next? Um... Expert for hire. No, I can only have the, the one restorer or the one staff member. Shop for rent. And we'll look at doing that. If I, can, if I can get a nice big killing, that would be nice. Nice big profit. Illusionary dessert. Scientists are now completely sure that the cake is a lie. Fantastic. Let's get some wheeling and dealing. What the hell are you wearing? 
Oh, okay, Fresh Prince. Um, Jason, if indeed that is your real name. You want that piece over there. Which one? The old statuette. Oh, I must have rolled in with this. I, I didn't buy that. Sure, let's deal. Uh, yeah, how about 1600 bucks, Fresh Prince? Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're cooking. Hi, Belle. You want to buy what exactly? Oh, the vase I just got. All right, well, could make a decent profit on that. What, what do you think you want to pay for this? I want you to pay 425. How about that? I want you to pay this number right here. Well, okay deal. Hey, all right, that was a decent profit. Pretty much doubled my money there. Getting there, all right, not, not too bad. This pawn shop game is not that challenging. World of Peacecraft, a famous video games brand, just released a World at Peace simulator. First review said that it's too difficult and boring. Yeah, nobody is surprised by that one. Oh, hi. Um, what, what, why do you have your sleeves rolled up on a suit? That's not a good look for you. Oh dear, all sorts of people are in here. Uh, sir, sir, there's no smoking. This is a no smoking establishment. Uh, and how did you get past my metal detector piercing guy? Hi, Jack Love. Well, that's, that's a name for a different kind of movie. Here for that gem, which one? The vinyl record? Oh, you can have it, dude. You can totally have it. I rolled in with that. I just take, I'll just take your money. Yeah, sure, fine. Fine, just get it off my shelf. Uh, good morning, Irwin. What would you what would you like to sell me? An armchair. Okay, you could probably clean up that photo a little bit. You didn't have to give bring me in the grimy photo. It's bad condition, but uncommon rarity. Estimated at six thirty. What do you think you want for that? Four thirty five. How about four hundred? How about that? How about that? You can accept my offer. You darn right, you can accept my offer. Okay. Um, hi, Luca. You'd like to purchase which one? Oh, the, the game console. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Knock yourself out, Sparky. You can totally have that. Um, yeah, sure, that much? I don't know. I, I Dude, I think you can actually just go down the street or, you know, Best Buy or something and get one of those brand new for less than that. But whatever works for you, man. Um, yeah, continue. How much money do I have? Ten grand? Okay, What? how about this shop? All right, so Pawn Temple. A pawn temple. The church of buying and selling. That will really boost up my fame points. And a huge inventory size. However, it costs $10 million to buy this church. And I'll pay $300,000 a week. $10 million to buy this church. I know churches are in trouble and looking for money, but that's that's a lot of money for a very small church. Um, I think, obviously, we're, we can't afford that, so let's get rid of that. Did I know what? Several years ago, people did not used to wash themselves. Ah, yes, the 90s, the grunge era. Okay, um, oh, hi, anarchy t-shirt lady. Uh, what, what, what do you want? Hi, Dharma. Of course you're called Dharma, aren't you? Uh, you want what? The silver watch. Okay, sure. Yeah, absolutely. You can have that. How about eight fifty for that? Uh, seven ninety. Sure. Yeah, that that's okay. That I'll, I'll take seven ninety for that. Uh, I think that was my starting inventory anyway, so I didn't even pay for it. Cool. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. And what do we got? Meanwhile, in Italy, former PM says in an interview that he has never had impure thoughts on women. Well, that's not very Italian of you. Underwear protests. Restless protests after a local indie team removes glimpses of customers' underwear from. Their game. That's an inside joke that I clearly don't get. Ha oh, your tattoo just moved. Um, oh, whoa, 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 dude, you have some sort of condition. Hi, Lewis, yeah, I know we're here to buy and sell stuff, but your tattoo just moved from the left to the right side of your face. It's either a tattoo or it's a very strange bug you've got in your face. Um, Lewis, what do you want? Uh, you want the armchair. Okay, I paid 400 for it. Do you want to give me that 630 for it? Yeah, you do. All right. Hello, uh, Samantha. You've got something. Isn't it awesome? I don't know. It looks like a lump of melted steel on my counter here. Oh, it's an old military uniform. Couldn't have proven it by me. What do you think you want for this? Seven ninety? Yeah, no, not so much for somebody's effectively dirty laundry. Why not? How about we say five hundred? Uh, are you crazy? What if I say thirty? <laughs> what if I say get the heck out of my shop? There you go. Hi, Han. What, 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 what do you want to sell me? Again, with the chairs. Hmm. Don't know about the chairs so much. Maybe... Uh, what do you think you want for this? 
You want 335. How about 300? How about we did that? Uh, yep, you're fine with that number. Sure, cool, excellent. All right, so far so good. Any... Oh, hi! Restorer Phil just finished his job. Oh, about time. Its new estimated price is $8,400 for a poster. Well, good job, Phil, first of all. You, you, you did your thing there. Um, what do we got for shops for rent? Ah, now this is a little more reasonable. Trashy Paradise. Isn't that what I already have? Hmm, I guess not. Uh, fame points up. Inventory size, the same. Max customers, the same. Yeah, this isn't really a huge benefit. I just get one more fame point. I'd like to find something with a bigger inventory size. We'll try again tomorrow. Uh, so, you, uh, you're bringing me, I think, a sandwich. I, I don't, I don't think I want a sandwich. I, oh, you want to buy the chairs? Okay, cool. Good. Yes, I would like you to buy those chairs. Um, I paid 300. How about you pay 500? How about that? Let you think. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you fell for that one. All right, well, there's just one customer in a day. That's not so good. What shops have we got today? All right, filled space. What do you got? Fame points up, inventory up. Max customers the same. Working locations up. Starting cost 15,000. Well, I can't afford it. Would be pretty good though. All right, well, we'll just keep trying to plug the money along here. Oh, wow, you have fantastic hair or you have a hedgehog on your head. I'm not 100% sure. Hi, Laura Skywalker. You were cleaning the closet when you found somebody's old beaten up guitar, which I think has a bite taken out of it. Ew, common rarity, terrible condition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, take your hedgehog out of here. Hi, what do you want? Uh, you have earrings, apparently. Golden earring. Common rarity, bad condition, 210. I mean, it is gold, right? I mean, that, that seems to be like a thing people should want to buy. Kind of based our entire currency on it. Uh, you're not entirely satisfied, but it, but you'll accept it. Okay, well, I'm not entirely satisfied with you. So we're on, we're on even footing there. How are we, um, we're, we're basically making some money. What shops have we got? All right, Futility Emporium. Seven grand, to, okay, I can afford it at least. Fame points up. No extra inventory, though. Hmm. I'm going to go with a broad no and check again tomorrow. Meanwhile, in Russia, average monthly car accidents are at an all-time low. Good job, Russians. New Horizon. Brand new Nasal Epilation University. Just opened in our city. Oh, I wonder if I could get a scholarship to that. Hi. You're really normal looking for this part of town. What's your problem? And you have a stick with a snake on it. Are you a medical person? And you're kind of dressed like an elf. What the hell kind of city am I living in here? Hi, Sigmund Nukem. What do you want to buy? Oh, you want to buy the gun. Oh, dear. Um, you know what? I, it's, this is not my problem. This is not my problem. There's no, there's no waiting period here. I'm very interested in you taking this gun off my hands. I paid 160. You'll pay 250. Done. Sold. Um, yeah, you. What the? Is that a mustache or... You know what, I, it's probably best I don't ask. Uh, you want to sell me a drone again? No, I'm going to go with a loose no on this, actually. And by loose no, I mean take whatever that is on your upper lip and get out of here. Hi, elf lady. Hi, Kathleen. You have a football. Or a soccer ball, depending on what country we live in. It's common rarity, it's terrible condition, and it's 47 bucks. No, I think you can just take your soccer ball out of here. All right, I, I don't even, I can't even go away. Uh, meanwhile, in Italy, we've done uprising. Oh, dear. Siege at the local hospice where a violent group of oldies have claimed the building as their homeland. God bless you, oldies. Let's do some business. Is that it? I'm getting one customer, two customers. I see somebody else outside that door. I can clearly see you waiting out there with your weirdo hair. Kira Nukem, your brother was in here the other day. Uh, basketball cap produced in 1968. Oh, that's a rather old basketball cap you got there. What do you think you want for it? 75 bucks? Sure. Actually, you know what? I'll hand that off to the restorer. That's, that's not a terrible idea. We can bump up that quality a little bit. Hi, Julia. What do you got? A decorated candlestick. Very good condition. Common, but very good condition. Estimated at 560. What do you think you want? 300? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Rock that in. Uh, sure, yeah. Get, let me get to my inventory because I want to give the who's he what's it to the restorer guy. 
Nobody wants to buy that Nobody Sky poster. I'd love it if they did, because we'll kill it on that. That was strangely worth it. Yeah, I want you to restore this. 86 bucks. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's that's just fine. Let's open for business here. Oh, uh-oh, it's the cops. Everybody look cool. And the guy with the rolled up sleeves on the, on the suit, which is a terrible look for you, sir. Uh, I see your shop safety systems are not compliant. Oh dear, really? Pay the fine? Would you? Look at me. Charisma. Okay, uh, I can do a charisma check. Sure. I'll leave you some time to fix it. I would appreciate that, officer. Yeah, that wasn't sketchy at all. Hi, Homer. What do you want to buy? Yes! Buy the Nobody Sky poster. It's worth lots and lots and lots of money. Apparently. Uh, you want uh, you want to pay me 7500 Yeah, you know what? I'm No, no. I, I spent a lot of time and effort on that. How about 8000 for that? Uh, yep, you are going to take it. Boom. Boom. And 4130 profit we made on that. I'm digging by in the restorer. It was a lot of money to restore that, but we made our money back and then some. Any good shops? Mm, you have Futility Emporium again. No extra inventory space. Not that much more expensive, though. Plus one max customer per day. That would be good. And fame points up. Yeah, let's buy a new shop. We just kind of killed it on that last sale. Let's move. We've moved to a new shop. Super. Okay. And we could have an extra staff member now, too. That increased our staff size. We could get the retired leprechaun here. Lucky guy for hire. We could totally get him in, but he's pricey. He is experienced. He's a very, very experienced leprechaun. But he's kind of pricey. Um, not today. Let's see what happens today. It's a nicer looking shop, I'll tell you that. Oh, hi, um, you, hi Bilbo. I, I've, I've got a mountain with your name on it. A uh, unique piece I'm surely going to like. You've brought me a rug. It's kind of a meh rug, isn't it, Bilbo? Bring me the ring. Are we going to talk numbers? You're not going to go too far from 360. Well, I, you're, you know where you're going to go far? Right out of my shop. Yeah, bye. Uh, hi, Anne. You've got a hat. That's nice. It's a cowboy hat produced in 1999. Oh, those 1999 cowboys. Common rarity. Terrible condition. You know what? I'll, I'll give you 10 bucks for it. 10 bucks or nothing at all. You'd rather say 30. I'd rather say leave. Hello. You have a really cool looking necklace. I think it's a necklace. I hope it's a necklace. Savannah Kenobi. I just fell in love with that item. Which one? The earrings? Actually, they will pretty much work with your outfit. Yeah, you should totally take those earrings. Those are actually going to work out great. Um, 210, you know what? Just, do you want to just pay it? Just pay it and get out the door. I'm going to give you a good deal because they're going to look nice on you. Hello, Avon. And what would you like to buy? The decorated candlesticks. Okay. Do you want to give me the price that I want for it? How about 570? Yes, cut a deal for 570. Cool, we are up some money now, except we're not really, we're actually down a little bit, but that's because we just rented a new shop. Right, No Stairway to Heaven, local guitar shops sparked fierce protests after they started a No Stairway to Heaven policy in their store. Very sensible policy, very sensible policy. I appreciate that and I appreciate the No Freebird policy. Hello, what is with the necklaces in this town? Everyone's wearing like dog collars. You have, Samantha, some sort of robot. An old toy, it is old. Wow, 1803. Wow, okay, you, you weren't kidding, that's old. Did they have robots in 1803? Apparently they did. Pre-HG Wells, apparently we were all sci-fi back in 1803. Um, I will totally take this, actually, because that's probably going to be pretty good. How about I gave you 800 bucks for that? How about that? Um, yeah, okay, great. And then what I'm going to do is when that restorer is done with whatever it is he's working on, we're going to kind of cycle that through the restorer there. Wherever she goes, homicide case solver Jessica Stretcher finally got to prison. She used to hypnotize innocent people to make them admit to be guilty of her homicides. I never doubted it for a second. Hello, anarchy lady. What would you like? Well, you just shop at Hot Topic, don't you? Sasha, you would like to sell me what? A jeweled ring. Hmm. Okay. Uncommon rarity. Good condition. 
what what do you think you want for this 1460 how about 1300 how about that yeah you'll take that okay cool good all right conned you out of some money liturgy kuthrapoli gesundheit you've been told to sell something isn't it awesome it was awesome in like 1984 it's not as awesome now but what do you think you want for this I'll give you, I don't know, 80 bucks for it. How about that? You'd rather say 116. Okay, you know what? I'll see. I'll see. Maybe we'll throw that through the restoring thing. I don't know what he can do after good, but probably make it insanely good. Han Coconut. What do you got? You got a rug. Um, sure. What do you think you want for that? 128? Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Come on, keep them coming, people. Keep them coming. Michelle Rowe, you've got a unique piece, a collectible gold coin. Surely all gold is vaguely collectible. Again, we've based an entire currency on it. Bad conditions, but I can work with that. What do you, uh, what do you want? 830? It's estimated 830. How about 750? And I cycle that through the restore and we bump that up. You can accept my offer. You're darn right you can. Get out of my shop. Total gross revenue, 16k. Do kind of need a, a big hit. Oh god, what happened? Your mind was so busy wandering on a philosophical question, you didn't realize you tossed one of your items out the window. Oh dear, I've lost my Rusbik cube. Eh, you know what, small loss. Buy on auction, what? Do not miss the opportunity to buy invaluable treasures. Oh, but required fame level beginner. Okay, that's fine. How's my restorer doing on the thing? Because I'd like to get some more things through the restoring cycle. Hi, Henrietta. You want to buy what? You want to buy the rug. Okay. Yeah, you can just buy the rug. It's totally cool. It, it's like how commerce works. Hey, 24 bucks. That's it? That's are my only customers. Oh, dear. This has not been a good week. Um, brainwasher for hire. Yes. I could... What's an analyst do? Jimbo Meany is looking for a job. Jimbo Meany also has a lemon on his face. That's not what you want to lead with in your interview, unless your skill is indeed balancing lemons on your face and will grant me more competence. Oh, if only it were that easy, Jimbo. If only it were that easy. Hey, you know what? Hire him. Sure. I, I'm somehow more competent. Yay. Uh, you. And you. And what, what is in that bag? I probably don't want to know. Hi, Jeffrey. You've got what? Oh, goodness. It's got very busy here today. You have a football you want to sell me. Right? I can buy a football for much, much less than $174. How about I gave you 100 bucks for that? Uh, 168 is what you want. I want you out of my shop. And Kelly, you have a box. It's a chest. Uncommon rarity, but terrible condition. I can I can play with that though. We we can do something about that. You want 290. I bet if I cycle that through the restorer, I'll get quite a bit more for that. So yeah, I will take that deal. You, piercing guy, Glenn. What do you want to buy? The jeweled ring? Okay, I paid 1300. Would you like to pay me my 1740? Please say yes. Okay, you did. Good. Good. And you, Veronica, you want to buy the old toy. 1803, Veronica. 1803. They didn't even have a concept of robots back then, to the best of my knowledge. But there's a robot toy from 1803. I what? Ah, didn't have time to get the condition up. How about you just paid 1300 for it, please? Good. $500 profit. Slam that out. Let's do... Oh, hi, Restore Phil. Good. Good. So you're up 231 on that. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Profiler for hire. Michael Kim is looking for a job. Profilers are great detectives. They know people and items. They passively grant you more insight. You are stupidly expensive, sir. Strange spaceship. Strange alien spaceship crashed today on local beach. Military says there's only one survival and that he claims to be an Engi. Right. Right. Okay. Well, good. Good to know. Good to know. Does, does the alien want to buy a hat? Because I've got one now. And the guy in line behind this guy clearly needs a hat because that hair is not working out for him. Hi, Ben. What do you want? Oh, you want the chest. Okay. Or you want to sell me a chest. I, I've got a chest. I think I have a chest. Let's deal. What do you think you want? P you want to pay me 375 for the chest. 
pay 290 you know what that's fine that's fine ben uh you are just a freak of nature what have you got for me dominus and draconians player handbook is it a first edition well not in 2014 it ain't um because i i will take that just for myself thank you very much bad condition we can play with that though yeah i will definitely take this um estimated at 430 how about i gave you 200 bucks for it you're thinking about 255 okay I, I think that's probably fair i can work with that number great good and you does your tattoo move like the other guy? Hi, Charlie Swiffer. Love the cleaning products you've named after yourself. Collectible gold coin. I paid $7.50. It's at $8.30. Did not have time to get the condition up. Sure. Uh, you're not sure. You literally just offered me that. You literally just offered me that. How are you not sure? Get out of my shop. Okay. Uh, Restore Phil. Phil, we, ne we need to... Um, we need to do some things here. Yeah, work on that Dominus and Draconians player handbook. Just because, frankly. Uh, 111 bucks to get it done. Take five days. Knock yourself out, Phil. Good job, Phil. You're a valued member of the team. Um, wow, those are the only two things I have. I have that and the hat. Don't buy the Dominus thing. The, the Draconians thing. You have a slightly less beaten up guitar in terrible condition for 210. Sure. Uh, what do you got? Oh, 112? Yeah, if you'll take it, I'll buy it. Wow, that was silly of you. Betty Dino Storm. What a great name you have. You found another hat. Yeah, it's not it's not a hat shop, per se. But it is another basketball cap. It's in good condition, I guess. Who is paying $188 for a hat? Well, not me, for a start. I'm going to pay $124. Thank you very much. Okay, how are we doing? I mean, we're kind of we're keeping our head above water here. Uprising. Oh, it's the oldies. They've claimed their homeland. Good. Peace with the Mafia. Local Mafia has been forced to stop killing people after huge protests coming from all around. Don Vito just declared he will limit to theft and kidnapping only from now on. Well, that's adorable. Good for him. I've got a lot of hats on the shelf here. Would you like to buy a hat? Please say yes. Now, you want to sell me something, Riley. You want to sell me a handheld game console from 2018. Again, I feel I could just buy a brand new one for less than this uh, what do you think you want for this 375 yeah sure what the heck i'm feeling generous today and though you were my only customer so i kind of had to and we just paid our rent as well oh dear um anyone i want to well i'm already full up on staff sell on auction oh i still need a fame level of beginner okay what do you want what's your deal come here stanley randleman you, what, what in God's name do you have? Oh, it's a telescope. Oh, I thought it was some sort of robot bionic hand and I was going to get all excited about that. But no, no, it's just a ter telescope. It's common rarity. It's terrible condition. What, <laughs> what do you think I'm going to be paying for this? Oh, actually only 97? Mm, you know what? I'm actually going to pass. It doesn't look like anyone's going to pay any money for that. Gianna Zuckerberg. Oh God, it's another poster. Waiting Player 2 poster. It is rare condition, or rare rarity, rather. $7,800. And I can cycle that through Phil. I am interested, depending on how much you think you want for this. Yeah, I'm not paying $7,800. I'll tell you that right now. How about $4,000? How about that? You'd rather say $5,000. Okay, I've done well with the poster game before. Uh, okay, $4,600. Just, just, just take the money. Ah, silly people. Hi, Jamie Firestorm. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and deal with you a little bit better because that lady was silly and I didn't, I didn't give her the right amount of money. I kind of wanted the poster there. Uh, uncommon rarity, very good condition. Yeah, okay. I've got a hat and you want to buy it, and Phil's kind of. Put a little spit and polish on it. Yeah, let's totally deal. You want? Are you, are you, are you, are you going to give me six hundred bucks for this ad? Wow, you're a dope. Um, yeah, continue. This, this pawn shop thing is easy. Eureka! Scientists discovered that void has a lot of space to be filled. Yeah, no kidding. Let's do one more round here. One more round. Yeah, well, you. Oh God, the village people are in town. Uh, hello, Kim Morales. You saw what exactly? The handheld game. Paid 375, estimated 405. 
what are you going to pay? Because you're going to pay 405. I'm going to tell you that right now. There we go. 30 bucks. Hi. Morning. Yes, morning indeed. Um, what, what, what's your deal? Friend of mine you've, says you've got to fix the safety system. You give me a few bucks and I fix it for you. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm being shaken down here. There's a protection racket between the cops and the village people. All right. Generally, I'm not threatened by any member of the village people except the Indian. But, yeah, sure, I, I feel I'm just being hustled here. No problem with that. Everything's safe now. All right, that was a terrible day's, terrible day's business. Uh, and now this. Local indie teams sued for including in their game too many references of famous TV show Last Week Today from Johnny Oliviero. Well, good. All right. You don't look like... Oh, God, the cop's back. The cop's back. Uh, you brought me underwear? Do, do, I don't think you understand how commerce works. Pamela, uh, you've obtained a unique piece. I don't want to know how you got this. Oh, they're boxing trunks. Okay, that's that's not really any better. Common rarity, bad condition, 82 bucks. What do you want for it? You know what? I'm not taking your dirty laundry. Just This is gross. Get out of here. Oh, God, I'm going to get beaten up, aren't I? Good morning, I am pleased to see you fix the safety systems. Good job, great work. Well, thanks. Usually nobody listens to me. To show my gratitude, I'll talk about your shop in the neighborhood. In a in a positive manner? Because I I fear you. Seriously, you've got a new friend here. From now on, if you're in extreme danger, you can just call me, just scream police out loud, and it will work. Am I going to get robbed? Is that the implication that this store is going to get robbed? Um, hi, are you normal? Oh, you've got dice. They'll go with the book. Oh, hang on. Yeah, uh, no, I'm totally not. I'm buying these. They're epic rarity. Ooh. Ooh, connected to the Vietnam War. Okay, that's different. Um, yeah, no, I'll totally take them. They'll go with the book that Phil's working on. What do you want? 720? That's probably really good because they're going to be epic. Uh, clearly. And I can sell them with the book. That would be nice. Hi, Ned. Uh, is this a car? It's car. It says car right there. It's a rare car. In terrible condition. It's a rare car. It doesn't look that rare. It kind of looks like a Prius. So, um, sure. Sure. I will... Yeah, no, I'm going to pay the amount of money you wanted. What do you mean you're not entirely satisfied? It was your offer, you moron. Great, we cut a deal. Good. Get out of my shop, you silly man. All right, um, is Phil, are you, yes, thank you, Phil. I thought you might be about done with that. Okay, we've got a Dominus and Draconians player handbook, and we've got dice. We're turning this into geek heaven. And what could I have you working on now, actually? Why don't you work on the guitar? Because that's terrible condition. Why don't you work on that, Phil? Yeah, go ahead and begin that task. I like you, Phil. You kind of sit in the back, but you're a valued member of the team. What are you wearing Fresh prints? And you, you got the stick again with the snake on it. And I don't even know what you're doing. And by the way, there's no eating in the store either. Please take your sandwich outside. Leah Ben Bennett. Bennett? Bennett? Benet? Whatever. Do you want to buy a Dominus and Draconius handbook? Good condition. Yeah, fine. No, we'll, we'll sell the hat. Yeah. We're all about it. You clearly need a new hat. I'm, I'm, you know, it's very obvious you need a new hat. There we go. 96 bucks from you. What do you want, Sparky? Hi, Oliver. Uh, what do you want to buy? There we go. Dominus and Draconian's player handbook. Estimated at 650 now. Great. Uh, yeah. How about you just go ahead and pay that? I Phil took a long time with that one. Didn't even make that much money. You are a freak of nature. You also want to sell me a telescope and or bionic hand. Common rarity, bad condition. Um, what do you think you want for this? You want 275. Yeah, no, not so much, Sparky. How about 200 bucks? You can accept my offer. Good. Get out of my store. You concern me. And you, Marina, what do you want to buy? The dice. Oh, you should go chase after the guy with the book. We never got a chance to get the condition bumped up. All right, I want all the money in the world for this. Oh, I'm getting it too. $1,000 for a set of dice. You're not going to go too far away from $1,080. You know what? Neither am I. Sold. Okay. Boom. Done. $24,000 bucks we have made over the course of this. Every little helps. This morning you helped a poor old woman to cross the road. 
That doesn't sound like me. The fact that the local policeman was nearby. The same one who's shaking me down? Because there's a protection racket going on in this town. I saw you doing this as pure coincidence. Reputation value has increased. Okay, cool. Well, there's a little bit of dealer's life. A nice little time waster and idle clicker. I really just kind of saw this as being a one-off just to have a little bit of fun with running a pawn shop. If you guys do want to see more, of course, do please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll just kind of call it as it is and make this a little bit of a one-shot deal. But there's some dealer's life for you. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button to see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.